Hey guys, welcome to Pest Blog. I'm Varun Satish, and yes, I'm back with a new video. As many of you know, I've just finished my fourth semester, and now moving on to the fifth semester. And for the first time in about three to four years, I've got my first two month vacation, and I interned at Pest Innovation Lab for two months, about eight weeks. This video is all about that experience, and it's basically about what I did, how I found it. Uh, uh, why I took it in the first place, and why I think you should take it too. So normally, Pest Innovation Lab only offers internships for outgoing first years who have just finished the second semester. But due to COVID, they had to move the whole schedule, and so for our batch, they gave us recruitments for the second year students, like me. So that's how I I ended up in Pest Innovation Lab. Okay, so let me explain about Pest Innovation Lab. So Pest Innovation Lab is actually a club in the RR campus of Pest University, but they recruit from both EC campus and RR campus. And essentially, what this club does is intern students, generally from the first year, but in our case, second years, uh, and then takes those students, teaches them, interns them, and eventually those students who are interns become mentors for the next generation of interns, basically for the next year. So. Essentially, it's a club which passes on knowledge from generation to generation, and that's how it works. And also, under uh, Pest Innovation Lab, uh, are very big events which are held in Pest, such as Hash Code and In Situ. Uh, some of you might, uh, some of you who have been watching this channel for a long time, already know that I've interviewed a few people from Pest Innovation Lab about two years back, like Samir, Animesh, uh, Abhignya, Ishan, and Pranav. So those interviews were great. One of the main reasons why I took this internship in the first place was, first of all, I know I was going to waste my holidays completely, so I might as well do something, you know, productive. So that was the first reason. The second reason was, so after interviewing those great people, I just saw the passion and like the level of the intelligence and the just the amount of knowledge they had was just amazing. It impressed me a lot, honestly. So in the first year, nothing happened because of COVID, and in second year, basically, I got a post from their Instagram page, which I also followed as soon as my interview was over. So obviously, I applied. So the first round of uh, joining Pest Innovation Lab was basically this uh, CBD test, which was held online. So that was pretty easy. It was a lot of logical questions, and uh, that's basically it. A few basic coding questions as well. That was pretty good, and. Uh, I got through, you know, and it was great, man. Uh, uh, so after that, uh, the second round was actually the interview rounds. So what happens in the interview rounds is there'll be a panel uh, of previous members of Press Innovation Lab who would come and interview you on what you find as your passion. So essentially, you should first give them your resume, and they will look into that, and uh, accordingly, they will ask questions. So I put my interests, which are mobile development using iOS, um, like Swift programming, then ML, and also I had a pretty good interest in robotics. So using these, they asked me a few questions, and I answered them. Uh, the interview went pretty well. I answered most of them, but I actually messed up about two to three questions, and I legitimately thought it's done. You know? Yeah, I thought I screwed up completely. So I was. Uh, I, I honestly thought I wouldn't get in because you know there's a lot of people, but man, it actually happened. Like a few uh, months later, we actually got news that I got in, and that was great news because 800 people applied and just 26 made it, and that was a huge deal. So normally, Pest Innovation Lab has 40 plus people, but also due to the COVID thing, that's probably why. Uh, they reduced and downsized it initially to 26. So we are the first batch after COVID. So that's probably why they did that. So finally, after joining, uh, we were given uh, basic presentations from the mentors who have these projects. And what you have to do is kind of choose your preference about what kind of project you want to take up. And accordingly, they using your interests and what your abilities are, they will choose a project for you using your preferences. So in the end, I ended up with a project called TPML VLAN. So that is uh, throughput prediction using machine learning. So basically the project, uh, I won't go too much in detail, I think it might bore you, but it's basically 
uh, like these routers, when there are multiple routers very close together, they might interfere. And when they interfere, generally what happens is your throughput or your internet speeds basically drop. And what we had to do is use machine learning models to kind of predict the best you know, positioning of the routers to get the best throughput. So that was our project. Yeah, there were multiple projects and they all go into very technical detail. I wouldn't, I really, really don't want to bore you again. So those things will soon be uploaded into the Pest Innovation Lab website. So you can check it out there. Pest Innovation Lab, formerly MLab, is one of the most sought out clubs in PS University. And that is not a joke. You can ask your seniors. If you're a technically minded person who loves and truly enjoys technology, you should probably look at this club. So let me start off with how my internship went. It initially started off pretty well. I uh, met my mentors, who were Raj Sekhar sir, who was actually the faculty head of uh, this club, and Venkat uh, Ramnan, who's a great, great mentor. He's actually a senior now. He's leaving uh, press. Yeah, so after that, I met my teammates, who are Shreyas and Spurti. Superb teammates, honestly, I love them a lot. They were great teammates. So our internship was basically a eight week internship. So essentially every week we would have something called an MIM, which was a mentor intern meeting. And what would happen there was we would just go through what we have achieved in that week and what we plan to do for the next week. And what, uh, when we're explaining, there would be like the mentors and people like even seniors from many, many uh, years back, like who have taken part in Test Innovation Lab or MLab. Uh, basically would come back and basically give you a lot of advice. There are also PhD students over there, like Samir and Animesh, right? So for technical parts of this uh, internship, I don't really think it's good for this video. So I would just put a link to the GitHub page where all our code for this uh, internship is. So you can just check it out there if you're like into that thing. So otherwise it was basically a great way to learn. So I'll just run you through the advantages I found in this internship. So first thing was the student mentors. So unlike uh, like a normal uh, project you do under a teacher, for example, ours was mainly student mentors. Yes, our project had a uh, teacher mentor and he was just the best, like one of the best uh, teacher mentors I've ever had. And because he's so kind and he would just, any doubts you had at any time, he would pick up the call and just explain the concepts and he was great, but you just don't generally get teachers who are willing to do that all the time. So the student mentors, uh, they just understand how you feel and how you do work. And also these student mentors, they have their own internships, they have their own work, but they just still come to the lab with us. They don't have to, there's no uh, other reason to come other than to just, you know, just spend time and uh, help the new generation of Press Innovation Lab students to, you know, work out and get better, get better knowledge. So that was a big thing. Second thing was the weekly MMs, I already explained this and what uh, this uh, mentor intern meetings would do was so every two weeks of mentor intern meeting it would actually be in our seminar hall so it was like a huge room with a lot of people and you would learn public speaking basically there would it would force you to learn and speak in front of a large group of people about technical stuff and you should explain to them because not all people know about your project and like all the technical details you kind of have to define everything and make them understand and do exactly what you want to convey and how you want to do it. Another thing is alumni support. Um, as you know, um, during the mentor intern meetings, there would be these uh, seniors who are pursuing their PhD and they're, they're doing jobs in US companies and doing PhDs abroad and they would come back and it would be like 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. there and they would stay awake the whole time, the whole night just to listen to your problems and your presentation just to give their inputs that was the greatest feeling ever and they would have these really really uh, different inputs which are like you wouldn't even think of them and that was really really helpful and you know it's a great community you know you can just see the dedication they have like they don't have to do it even the craziest timings and they still come and do it another thing was great project support just due to the uh, number of people who have passed through Press Innovation Lab uh, really great intelligent people. The knowledge pool in the club has grown on over the years. So really any doubt you have in many, many different domains and you, there would be one person who would be more than likely extremely focused and he's been doing a lot of work on it and very knowledgeable and an expert in that subject. And that was really helpful. So he would 
you could ask someone on the group and just say i have this doubt and someone would just come up with an answer and it would help you a lot it just gave you different perspectives as well so that was great also you would get uh, support for like a few hardware features and we have a lot of computers lying around in our lab and yes we have our own lab and it is completely separate just for club members and it's great yes uh, there are a lot of computers that it was used a uh, little bit as storage room but those were those just helped us basically we just used those pc components as well for whatever project you needed and uh, it was great also due to this uh, labs uh, just the age also and uh, the number of people who have passed through it and the funding that has gone through this club the club has also got a lot of hardware which is quite interesting and great so there would be this super high end hardware uh, just components which are just available in the lab you can just kind of go there and ask them for it and they just give it there there would be like the kinect sensors there would be like a oculus rift and there is several prototyping boards a drone so many things smaller components as well there just be a huge large number of components just available for the students because of the amount of funding and the previous project just passed through this club basically and those materials just passed on to the next interns another thing which uh, many people just don't consider is just the great conversations like it's just not about uh, the work it's just the people around you so all these people are like minded they are very technical uh, and they are focused on various different aspects of tech and you just have different conversations with them they would teach you something you should had no clue about like a few of them are doing federated learning and those those concepts i hadn't even heard of before i joined this club and it, it was great i just learned a lot from these people so another few advantages were pizza google come on google come on new friends because you meet a lot of them and these guys you work with them for 2 months and they become great friends also conference just in the fact that you go into the club and you are working with people and yes but even when i joined i had this crazy imposter syndrome it was crazy i i didn't i thought i didn't really belong there but eventually you kind of talk to more people and then you kind of start getting more confidence and that's a great feeling yeah so timings for our internship was basically 3 days offline in campus in college and 2 days online all sort of a five day thing and uh, quite honestly i don't regret it man like i thought uh, oh i'll be working the whole summer and there'd be nothing to do but that's just not true because it doesn't really feel like you are working you're kind of having fun the whole time like you're working you're doing your work obviously but it's just not all work no play man it's like a lot of different stuff so we would randomly draw this crazy cartoons on the board yeah the stuff we are once just yeah <coughs> not good then there are uh, of course we just played uh, football every week or so and that was great fun good for fitness i guess but yeah it was great fun then uh, we went out we just chilled out after the internship hours uh, because the holiday obviously have more time to do stuff like that and yeah man you just chill around and do stuff make new friends talk with people hang around the college when there's no one there trust me it's fun quite honestly this is one of the best summers at least the most productive summers i've had in some time also uh, they also taught us to do a lot of these uh, smaller things which are you know they eventually become quite important like how to use git and how to make research paper using latex and a lot of those smaller things which make a big difference because i'll teach you just so when you have to go for your capstone projects you're just not so you know you don't feel new to everything you kind of know what's up so that's was great help as well i made friends that i hope will stay forever i made memories that will definitely stay forever knowledge that will definitely stay on my github page forever and money Uh, yeah they gave us a stipend which will definitely not stay in my account forever so me and my batchmates who just finished our internship will eventually become mentors and hopefully you know we would mentor one of you guys who are who might be interns so if you're technically minded and really love what you're doing just apply it's a great time i'm so glad i met them and uh, 
yeah of course it's uh, i had fun i did spend a lot of lot of petrol going to college every day but yeah i still had fun right so just before ending this video i have to give a shout out to the current uh, clubbers ashutosh anshan and murli you guys were great thank you so much for everything we couldn't have had better club heads so yeah uh, besides that uh, thank you for all the seniors and mentors yeah so we'll be having interviews pretty soon i think in a few days from now yeah so i hope you get into the club guys um if you do congratulations so yeah thanks for watching guys it's been an absolute pleasure i'm varun satish and thanks for seeing past blog <laughs> <laughs>